Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here at ILTM Con once again, and I'm here with uh, Dario Triola, who is with Borgo San Felice, which is near Siena in Italy, and it's a wonderful property that we're going to talk about here, and you'll learn something about, and maybe you'll book it for your clients in the future, and we're going to learn all about that and more on Insider Travel Report. So, Dari, great to see you here. Uh, are you having a good show so far? It just started, really. Yes, it's an amazing uh, LTM, I have to say. One of the best ever. Plenty it of... It is uh, the biggest since for a while because of what we've been going through, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, lots of people, lots of meetings, uh, amazing property also all around us. So I'm very happy, yes. Now, tell, tell us a little bit about Borgo San Feliz. First of all, you said it's near Siena, right? Yes, it's 20 minutes from Siena. It's an amazing property in the middle of Chianti Classico and it's an hamlet. Mm -hmm. The special thing is that it's an hamlet. It used to be a village okay. and now it's an hotel. In also, it, you're basically taking a village that says almost the entire little hamlet and made a hotel out of it right? exactly exactly so it's very particular and unique uh, inside the property we have uh, a wine yards an important wine yards where we produce Canti Classico but of course you have to <laughs> <laughs> we are in the middle of that and we also have uh, the two properties in Montalcino and in Bulgari so at San Felicia you can also experience and taste uh, the wines from our properties all uh, the three uh, the That's three of so them so how many rooms roughly is Borgo 60 rooms to villas, two restaurants, uh, one is starred, we have a, a, a red star and a green star also for sustainability which is one of our most important items uh, in the wine part but as well in the, in the hotelery. Well, that's great. So you basically are in the countryside and you're out there and in the Chianti region and all that, yes. right? And you can experience many things, nice things like truffle hunting at, in fall or bicycling uh, during all season. We have those uh, white roads of Chianti with the Eroica. I don't know if you know it. In October it's uh, a particular event. Uh, and then we have a fantastic spa with three great beauty lines. And you stay there and lie on... Uh, on the swimming pool near the swimming pool it have a bad and have a county that's what yeah, like that's like that now how 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 long has the hotel been around well, is it has been the first Relé Chateau in Chianti Classico since 1992. Oh, so it's been a while for yeah, a while. Yeah. yeah, but now has been completely renewed in a conservative way. So the the hamlet is exactly how it was, but of course new, and we have uh, finished all the all the working things uh, two years ago. So during all, the, the all the rooms have been refurbished, yeah. everything. Perfect. Like and yeah. now this season we are redoing tr three suites. One will have a private pool and the two villas will be completely renewed. Oh, so there's a lot of great accommodations to come yeah. in 2023, right? Well, well, we wait for you, of course. Well, of course, <laughs> we were all closed down, so now we can go. That'll be amazing. With like, so how do you get there? Do you go to Siena? What's the closest place to get in? You fly into where? Well, you fly to, to Florence, and from Florence in 50 minutes you are there. Or you can fly to Rome stay like just two days in Rome and have a tour in Rome and then come to by car we, we organize of course private car also to take you wherever and bring uh, you in now, our property. Now we, we go out to about 110,000 travel advisors many of whom are here and sell luxury travel uh, what, what would you tell them about the best ways to, that they can relate to their clients about experiencing this wonderful property what would how, 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 what's the best way to stay? Well, I would, if you, uh, the, why you have to choose San Felice? Uh, to choose Ch San Felice is, you, you have to choose it, sorry, I got it wrong. Uh, you have to choose it if you want to, to live a real Tuscan Italian okay. lifestyle experience. If you want to be entertained all the time, it's not our place. Right. If you want to reconnect with yourself and with nature, is that the right place? And really understand how Italians live and what is the Italian lifestyle. So, so you basically you're going you're going to be eating you're going to be drinking wine you're going to be walking around the countryside and and you know but you do have a luxurious place to stay in, in, at night right yes and our service is very is very high and so people will will look at you will will uh, will c candle you but in a very mm, discreet way so is a luxury discreet is not like the clients the guests no uh, we are very we respect very much our the privacy of our guests. 
guests, so we really care. And we really want that they experience the well-being, right. the star banner. Well, do you have a spa? Okay. Yes, of course, oh, we have a spa wow. with three beauty lines. Oh, that's not bad. Well, these are interesting because I think a lot of Americans, their kind of dream in life is to have go and live in a Tuscan, a villa in Tuscany. But this is like that, but even more. Yeah. So, right? Yes, because even if you stay at the villas, you have all the services of the five star hotel. So you can have your chef cooking there, or you, you we, we have a vegetable gardens, and you can pick things from the vegetable back gardens and cook them in your place. So is really a task and life, authentic uh, task and life. So I can pick my spaghetti and then go, uh, you know, of course, you know, because it's just growing out there. If right? you want to do a pesto, you <laughs> go at the vegetable garden, you pick your basil, and then you can do your own pesto at home. No, there was, a, there was an old BBC uh, pseudo, a false documentary, which was talking about spaghetti growing on trees. <laughs> but the very funny part, that, but I always joke about that because, you know, you do not, you pick wheat and you got to do a lot of other things to create spaghetti. <laughs> but there's, a, but, but you can pick your pesto. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And if you come, I'll cook you a carbonara if you like. As I'm, I'm from Rome, so I know very well the carbonara. Uh, you're on there. We're, we're gonna, you're, you got there. When, when, what's the date I can come? That's it. I think we're going to do that. When you want. I'm very good at carbonara. I love it a lot. No, that's great. Well, yeah. it sounds like it's a wonderful property, a great option for your clients uh, going to Tuscany. And uh, so certainly consider this. And, and Daria, it's been great to meet you. And hopefully you, I'm going to come and, and, really? and get that spaghetti, right? Yes, absolutely. It is a promise. I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm 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 going to this hotel. So uh, <laughs> there you go. And this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>